Well, the sun is beating down and it finally feels like summer. We've had so much moisture this year, it uh, hasn't really felt like summer. It seems like as soon as I get off work, it's raining. It's a Monday, but we're having our August long weekend. And uh, so I have the day off. And I've just been trying to get caught up on yard work and my mowing. As you can see, I got almost halfway done. And then I was mowing around my shed and I hit a chunk of steel out back and I bent my blade. So I have to either straighten it or get a new blade. I just thought I'd give you a quick update here. There's not a lot new really, but uh, other than that everything is growing, this tree here has now become as tall as I am. Like I said before, I'm not very tall, but uh, actually it's got about two inches on me now. So it's hit it's going to be right about six feet within no time and this tree was only about three feet in the spring of this year so it's doubled in size i've got mint coming up good here the uh i have many different varieties of mint in here and it's hard to tell what all which ones are coming up always but this is the peppermint as you can see the uh hen and chicks are in full flower still these are the neatest plants. I just really enjoy them. I... Nice thing is they do attract the bees, which is what we need. They, they pollinate all our plants, make sure everything's good. Even my dill attracts the bees. And as you can see, once again, it's a dill forest almost. But you would not believe by having that dill in there heavy how it helps keep the weeds down. And I get something that I can harvest still. The mother of thyme is still in flower. Some of it's already gone to seed. Over here, my, my lily has flowered. I didn't get to show you when the flower is new, unfortunately, but it's still quite beautiful. As you can see back there, the little turtle figurines are still hiding back there. This plant here, once again, I don't know what this is. If somebody could tell me. There's a close up of the leaves. I'm not sure what it is. But the thing I love about this plant is it's in the fall when most of the other flowers have quit flowering that this one flowers. And it's actually quite beautiful. The French tarragon is just huge. <laughs> the only thing that towers above it now is the tree. My darling wife is off in Vancouver visiting a friend and while she was away her rose has once again flowered and there's lots of little blooms coming up here. We also planted some sweet peas, well I should say Gab planted them and uh, there we go, there you go baby, your first sweet pea flower. The uh, tomatoes that I planted out here are coming up pretty good. As you can see, there's some carrots coming up as well. I planted some more spinach seeds in here. We'll see if they come up in time or not. Here in Alberta, we have such a short growing season. Very hot summers. Although the last couple of years have been quite wet. Um, but it goes in cycles like that. We have very wet years and then very drought-like years. This year just happens to be a wet one, but now that we're getting heat, with all the moisture, things just take off. I'm a little nervous because some things seem like they're going to seed awfully fast, but sometimes it's hard to tell. I, uh, I should keep more track, but as I look back in videos from last summer, I see that we're not that far behind, but some of the plants are slow this year because of all the moisture and so little heat. The onions have sprouted up. I'm not sure why some of them look like they're almost wanting to die off. I don't know if that's from too much moisture or what, but they seem like they're surviving. The tomatoes are coming up okay. I'm kind of curious. I had a log in here and it's disappeared. So I don't know. But 
that was uh, for aesthetics as well as for supplying moisture and retaining moisture and it was also a home for some ants. I really don't know what happened to it. Here I have in my clover patch which is quite big. I've got to uh, still harvest some flowers. Some of them are a little too late now. You want to get them while they're young enough that you're getting the pollen and the sweetness out of them. But uh, down nestled in here is the tree that I planted in one of my past videos. It's thriving. Uh, the three that I planted in that video, this one's coming. And that's not bad for being the trees that I dug up from underneath another tree. The cherry is uh, actually doing quite well. As I showed you in the one video, I, for a while there it was all covered in these little black bugs. And they seem to have had their time. And yes, it damaged a few of the leaves, but the other leaves seem to be coming up fully now. And so it seems like it has survived. And uh, thankfully without using any chemicals or anything like that. Uh, if anyone can tell me what I need to do to deal with insects like that in an organic way that's quick and easy, I would love it. The clover patch here is doing well. And as you can see, if I can get him on camera here. The bees also love this clover patch. As you can see, it's fairly extensive. This is fixing nitrogen like crazy into the soil. It draws it from the air and puts it in the soil and into the plant. So in time I will mow all this and compost it either in the beds or in the compost pile itself. The clover's been taking over and I've been letting it. I, I just like to walk out through the clover rather than grass and uh, the more clover I have, the less I'm going to mow. As you can see, I've got an alfalfa patch here. This spot I dug out several years ago to maybe build a barbecue pit or something. I've got all these bricks that were given to me by a close friend. And uh, so I dug out this spot. It was over 30 wheelbarrows full. And I did that with a pickaxe and a shovel. And I put all the dirt down here because this gentle hillside here was a really sharp hill. Now it's, I gentled it off. What I'd actually like to do now at some point is build a swale along this hill. But that is going to be another year because I've got enough projects on the go. So I was thinking of building a barbecue pit here. But now I'm almost thinking I was, I've been given access to some windows and I'm thinking I might put a greenhouse in here and sunken into the earth like it is, it, it will also retain that thermal heat too which will supply longer in this climate which means I might have to dig more dirt out because I'll probably want it deeper than it is. But I found it really interesting, it was just clay soil. I dug a lot of clay out of here and yet the weeds have taken over in this area. And not just weeds but other plants as well. Like this sage. I believe this is a sage of some kind. At least that's what the leaves look like to me. No it can't because it doesn't smell like a sage. I don't know what this plant is. But the bees are loving it, and so I'm quite happy it sprouted up where it did, amazingly out of this bad soil. <laughs>